What's going on YouTube? Today I'm super excited to show you guys the brand new wireless lav system from Joby. Now you probably know Joby from their Gorilla Pods and a, and a whole wide range of other camera and smartphone accessories. These guys make a lot of quality products for all of your vlogging needs. So today I'm excited to test out this wireless lav system from them. So let's go ahead, open it up and check it out together. What sets the Wavo Air apart from other wireless labs out there, of course you're going to get premium sound, which I'm going to test out in just a little bit, but you also get the multiple mount options, so this is going to be able to mount to a whole variety of different smartphones and cameras, and that's what really sets this apart from other wireless labs out there. Inside you get everything you need to get started, so let's kind of check it out together and see what's inside here. Now number one, I'm definitely like the presentation and I like the color scheme. I think the black and red looks really, really cool. So let me just go ahead and take out these receivers and transmitters. And you can see on the back, that's for that mounting system. So this is gonna mount to a whole bunch of, whole bunch of different accessories out there. So let's just continue on and see what we get in the box. This is everything that comes in the box, guys. So you do have your smartphone cable, you do have your camera cable. There's two labs if you want to use it, but this does have a built-in microphone, so you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Here's your little pom-poms that I call it, just to get rid of some of that popping and that wind noise. Nice little belt clips you have. So again, it's this whole unique mounting system that they have going on. So you can attach a whole bunch of different accessories right to the back of the, of the microphone itself, right to the back of the Wavo Air. So I think that's a really nice option, guys. I think it's a really, really unique way to kind of ensure that you can get this attached to anything that you want it to get attached to. So I'm definitely liking this design. I'm definitely, definitely on board with this design personally. So let's just put that into place. It snaps into place very, very nicely. On their website, you can get a whole bunch of different accessories. You can attach these right to the top and it kind of looks like that. One thing I've, I am noticing right off the bat, guys, instant pairing is definitely on board here. That solid blue means that it's already paired with the uh, with the receiver here. If you do want to plug in the lavalier microphone, all you have to do is plug it in right to the right to the jack on the side here. Charging with USB-C is definitely a plus in my book, but otherwise it does have a built in microphone right at the top and you also can adjust the gain right from here so you have your plus and your minus right over there guys and in terms of sound quality you're listening to it right now i just switched on to the other one so let me know which which microphone sounds better my previous one or this one hopefully it's the wavo air because this is the microphone i was intending to use for all of my videos going forward so let me know down in the comments below but we also want to know about about range and whatnot so let's go outside and test the range now one thing i would like to see on maybe a future iteration i actually like to see a little readout i like to see my signal strength i like to see an actual battery readout as well but the little glowing circle in the middle the led light is going to let you know when you have about 90 minutes of battery remaining one issue with the 90 minutes remaining light, you never know how much is actually left out of that 90 minutes. If you've used it for 10 or 20 or 30, if you've let it sit for a day or two, how much of that battery life is actually left in the tank? So really a rule of thumb is when you see that light, just automatically charge it up and then you won't have any issues with the battery life. You won't have any battery anxiety. But it also would be useful to know just about if you're out of range or you're not out of range, you, you never want to be talking, never want to have an interview or doing a vlog or doing any type of video only to find out that you're out of range and it didn't record properly. That would just be a no-no. I'm liking this mounting system on the back. It is super light. It is, it is a nice design and I think they did a nice job with it as well. Joby makes some high quality products, so I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to sound really nice. But let's head outside and check out the range and then give you my final thoughts on the Jovi Wavel Air. So first things first guys, we're going to test out the range and I'm here at a tennis court. So I'm going to go to the end of one court and then I'm going to go to the end kind of diagonally down to the other corner and I'm going to test it out with this little pom-pom right over here and then I'm going to connect the wireless lavalier. So let me connect this pom-pom. So overall guys, I really like the Wavo from Joby. It's, it's light, it's compact, the built-in battery, USB-C, all the good things are here. I kind of wish there was a readout or a little better usage of these LCD lights because you never know when the signal is getting a little bit weaker or not. It'll just basically cut out and tell you there's no connection. So I, I personally like to know what's going on. And the same goes for battery. I've already discussed that, but I get a little battery anxiety with this system, but that's easily overcome by just constantly charging it when you know you have a long interview or whatnot. So here we are. I'm at the end of the fence and I'm just using this little pom-pom right over here. So now let me switch over the pom-pom to the wired to the wired lavalier system and kind of let you know what that's going to sound like as well. So I've taken off the pom-pom. I now have the lavalier. I'm going to connect it to my fleece once again. 
and I might as well just attach this to my pocket. I don't have to keep holding it again. It's super light, it's super compact. You don't even feel it when it's attached to your pants. And that's what I like about this system. It's just, it's a great system for the compactness, the compactedness, if you will, for the size, for the portability, for the, for the weight, for also for the signal strength and the quality. I personally like the way that this sounds, but ultimately it comes down to what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the sound quality. And now I'm at the end of the fence. I basically can't go anymore. So if I look at the Wavo and I look at my blue lights, I'm still connected. So that's very, very good in my opinion. I wonder how it sounds from this distance. Again, let me know down in the comments below. So let me know what you think about it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you found this useful, leave a thumbs up as that definitely helps out the channel. And you know what else helps out the channel? Hitting that subscribe button. I'll catch you in another video.